Hi there, my name is Enrique Montero. Uh, I'm a 23 years old guy from Spain. I'm currently living in Madrid uh, with my parents, but not in the city. I don't like too much the city, it's too stressful. <laughs> uh, I live more in the mountains and I really like the life here. Um, I just finished my master's studies in energy engineering in Universidad Politecnica de Madrid. Um, last year I made an exchange program which is called Erasmus in which you go for a year to a, a foreign uh, country, uh, in my case was Aachen in Germany and you get to know the educational system there and to immerse yourself in the culture. I took advantage of the situation to learn German, which I can talk, not too good, but I can defend myself. Um, I got to know a lot of people, I met a lot of friends, uh, most of them Arabs, because we Spanish people and Arabs get along pretty good, and I like it a lot, because we have a lot of the same habits, and we are warm and friendly. And I also took advantage with the, of the situation and of, of the city to travel around Germany and also around Europe which I loved and it was a really rich full experience. Uh, I have also experienced volunteering uh, since I've been two summers in Africa volunteering. Uh, the first year was in Ghana uh, in which I was living with a local family in a really small tribe uh, and the aim there was to help them build um, um, a school. Uh, which was the first school in the in the area. Uh, the community hosted us so good. We were really welcome, and um, we living with the family was awesome too. Uh, we still keep in contact with them, in touch, and every time they offer us uh, for scholar material and stuff, uh, we are so glad that we can help them from here and send them whatever they need. Um, the community was amazing. There was a lot of people, different people from different religions, and we met them all. They all met and get to know us. And I don't know, we were kind of famous in the in the in the place because we were white people who wanted to get involved with them, and it was they were pretty amazed that some white people wanted to to get involved with them. Uh, afterwards, we when we finished the um, the school, we traveled for a couple of weeks there. But I won't tell it in this video because it would be so long. And another year, I went to Ethiopia. And in Ethiopia, the aim was different. We dig the a, a pit. Uh, and but well, we were staying also with uh, orphan girls in an orphanage there, and we made a lot of. Um, a relationship with them and we still pay them from the for the university so they can have a decent life in their own country and the experience was amazing was I cannot describe it with words and but our task was in the morning digging the pit, the pit I told you and then in the afternoon we would make some activities for the children of the town so they could come to the to a school and play with balloon, with balls, or go to a cinema we had there, or uh, we taught them how to use computers, uh, and also uh, we tried to empower girls so they know their rights and their value, um, um, because they are the thing with the machism is pretty bad, and and so we try to educate them. Uh, to be more uh, aware that they are valuable and they deserve respect. Uh, later we travel a little too and instead of making sightseeing uh, we rather uh, got in touch with the people there and we spent almost one week in a city in which everybody uh, ended up knowing us and talking about us because we were all the time doing things they would not uh, never expect from a, from a Ferengi, that's how they call white people or foreigners basically um, and yeah and then we came back and I uh, went to some mountains to make an adventure. We were there five nights, my friend, me, uh, and our team, which was composed by a scout, a guide, and a cook. 
and it was amazing. It was the most amazing experience in my life. Um, because of all of that, you can see that I love to meet new cultures, to get involved with everyone, to meet people, to help in everything I can, whenever I can, with whatever I can. And so I'm really angered to know Maldives, uh, also their people, the traditions, but also I'm really eager and looking forward to be able to work in an unknown field as the protection of sea turtles is. Um, uh, animals, I even brought it in the in my letter by animals and my patient, although I started at energy engineering because uh, I wanted an insurance for my future, but uh, I really want to work with animals and I think it's what will make me happy. And since here in Spain the, situations is a, the situation is a bit tough and they all the time ask you for some experience and for some uh, references, uh, I cannot find anything here, and I I really want to get started in this amazing world. I also want to mention that um, I'm a juggler, and I sometimes work as a entertainer in like uh, birthday parties and these kind of um, events, uh, and I think this is pretty nice because uh, some of the tasks in the internships you you posted, uh, uh, you are asked to communicate with people and to explain them some stuff and to be nice with them. And I think I got those skills from Africa first and also because I work as a juggler and I can treat with people pretty good and pretty sociable. Uh, to end with, uh, I really want to thank you to give us the chance uh, to have this experience and to know all this, all this sector people doesn't know about and they are not even aware of the importance it has. And because I also want to be part of the fight to defend our most valued uh, treasure, which is nature. So I will be so... Um, grateful if you decide to take me to to accept me and I can promise I will give my best every single day thank you so much and I hope to have news from you